up, YouTube Boy the Franchise Guy? We're coming at you again with a brand new episode of MLB The Show 19, Philadelphia Phillies Franchise Mode. And we have a special, and I mean a very special Major League debut. So if you don't know who this man is right here, I'm sorry you have not been paying attention to Philadelphia Phillies Sports. This man is Spencer Howard. He is a 24-year-old, 6'3", 205-pound righty with a lot of zip on his fastball baby yep Spencer Howard he's the kind of guy that well he does a lot for this team I'll tell you that now Look at that big punch right there first batter of the game to me his first major league strikeout we're at number, number 23 right now with the Phillies and well if you guys don't know now I'm gonna let you guys know now. The Philadelphia Phillies franchise mode is gonna get rebooted. Come and we'll be the show 20 as Howard gets his second strikeout right there. Back to back strikeouts for Howard. And Spencer Howard will be a huge piece of that. But take a look at we're on together. Anderson Lugo Murphy, Williams Alfaro Pierce, Cousins, Guerrero, and Trevor Richards. A ton, a ton of former Phillies right there. Three former Phillies are on this Marlins team. Trevor Richards last year. Went three and twenty-two. Oh my lord! Poor Trevor Richards, a six-six-seven ERA. Oh my lord, have mercy on his soul. Almost two walks or hits and in innings pitched. Jeez Louise, dude, you have got to call it quits. But Phillies got the normal. You got Harper, Riamuto, Alvarez, Hoskins, Bomb, Kingery, Hazley, Gossel at short, and Spencer Howard on the bump. Three-two count now to Alvarez and Alvarez. Gonna sky this one too. Deep center field. Does it have distance? No. It's got some warning track power. Not even warning track. Like two steps short of the warning track. But Williams facing Howard, and Williams will go down swinging. All right. Bottom second. Big Reese Hoskins up now. Two one count. Hoskins gonna send that to that left center field gap right there. It's gonna one hop the wall. Center field gets there quite quickly, and Hoskins will slide into second base for a leadoff double. Back to bomb, now 3-2 count, and Dylan Cousins, the big lefty power back, goes down swinging. I mean, Cousins, not much of a contact guy, more of a home run or bust. 2-1 count to the next batter up, that's going to be a single up the middle, so that's going to be the first hit allowed by Spencer Howard in his young career. Bottom three now, 1-1 one, one count to Adam Hazley, and Hazley, Sends this one to same place, more or less, where Hoskins hit it. A little more to the left. It's going to two-hop the wall, though. It's going to bounce around a little bit. But the end is the same. A leadoff double. Hazley on third down after some something or others by a sack fly. And Alec, well not Alec Baum, that's going to be Spencer Howard, the other Phillies top prospect right there. Going to get his first major league hit, a RBI single to left field. So, hey, young pitchers are hitters, though. Top four, and Howard goes with the strikeout of Dow Lugo for the first out in the inning. Bottom four now, Jordan Alvarez up, one, two count. Alvarez going to strike out, swinging right there. So, I mean, Trevor Richards does have some strikeout power. Had over 130 strikeouts last year. Howard now, two, two count, and Alfaro will go down, swinging right there. So, Howard... In control of the Marlins as he's still in Cousins to strike out for the second time this game. But there we go. Back to your Phillies in the bottom of the fifth. Adam Hazley up. Adam Hazley gets a hold of this one. Deep, deep right center field. That ball has some carry. And that ball will be out of here. Adam Hazley, his third home run of the season. It's the fifth game of the season. And Adam Hazley has been on a tear with the power. Three home runs in five games for the center fielder. I'm not saying Adam Hazley is on a power streak right now. I'm not saying he's going to hit 30 home runs this season, but I am saying, in fact, that he is on a roll right now. So there you got a little hip tap of Alec Baum, and Baum kind of backed up on that one, did not know how to react to that. But Gabby Grau did his absolute best to bring that one back in. Jumped way too late, like not even close now that I'm thinking of it. All right now, bottom five, one, two count. Howard swinging, 
and he's going to get his second hit of his Major League career. So two hits in his Major League debut for Spencer Howard. Still in the bottom of the fifth as Bryce Harper. Going to fight that one to right field. And that one's going to clear the wall. Bit of a scrape shot right there. But Bryce Harper hits his second home run of the season. High fives. Glorious. He passes the third base coach. Man's holding up some signs. Wearing a puffy jacket. High fives. Spencer Howard. High fives. JT. I mean, the home run is a home run. And the Phillies are a home run hitting team. You see Hazley takes off Harper's helmet. I mean, both have gone deep this inning. Get the show track on this one. 112 off the bat. A 13 degree launch angle. Anything special. Four, four second hang time flat. 372 on the distance. Not a super long home run. Nothing super impressive. But Tyler Austin will be pinch hitting for the Marlins now. Trevor Richards' day is officially done. He's batting 667. He's got three at-bats and two hits, and he's now batting 500. Strikeout looking for Tyler Austin, as Howard has been dominating this Marlins team so far. 3-1 count, and he's going to lose this batter right here. He gives up his first walk of his major league debut. It's all right. Young King can let up a walk or two, but he's going to follow that walk up with a big strikeout to end the inning. So Howard, masterful, as Sixto Sanchez, former Phillies top pitching prospect, comes in. In one game, he's got a 9 ERA with a strikeout and an inning. So strange to see Sixto in the bullpen. It's one of those fears the Phillies had. why kind of the reason why they let him go. They felt that he was more valuable to them as a starter, opposed to trading them for JT Riamuto as a starting all-star perennial catcher for a relief pitcher. That was the kind of fear they had going into Sixto Sanchez's future because of his injuries with his arms. So that was kind of, kind of that little touch right there. But bottom seven up, 3-2 count. It's going to be a single up the middle. So we are getting contact. I mean, it's not scoring off singles, but Chris Davis rocking his Oakland A's do rag. It's gonna get a hit right there. It's going to split the gap. You know, runner's gonna score from first base right there. Davis cruising, standing on second. It's a five nothing lead for the Philadelphia Phillies. And Ken Giles will come in. He has not had a good two games since so far back with the Phillies. Two games, he's got a 20 and a quarter ERA. Inning in the third, two Ks. That not great for Ken. But 99 miles on the gun right there is going to be his first strikeout of the inning. Spencer Howard's day is complete in seven innings. He allowed one hit, one walk, and struck out 10. So Howard, special, special player for this Phillies organization. And a 1-2 count. Now he's going to get another strikeout. It's time for Gabby Guerrero to end the inning. Two strikeouts in the inning for Giles as he's, he's having some, he has some dominance left in him. Just not a lot apparently. Hoskins up now, and Big Reese Hoskins sends this one to right field. It's going to be a fly. It's going to be a 1 2 3 inning for 6 0 Sanchez. As Victor Rano will now come in for the Phillies and two thirds of the innings pitch. He has a strikeout. That's it. No more two thirds of the innings pitch now for, I guess, baseball. As I'm going to show 20, we'll have the new, yes, the new and improved. Three batter limit. You know, meaning a pitcher must face at least three batters. But Anderson goes down, strikeout looking. Not too happy with that call right there. Arano, pleased with this stuff so far. Looking to complete the shutout. 2 2 count to Dahl Lugo. And Lugo strikes that swing on the slider right there. He is pumped up. Arano, midseason form already for. The shutdown relief pitcher right there for the Phillies. But everyone's celebrating Alvarez, Hazley, Harper. Look at that. Just a bunch of dudes hanging out, celebrating this win. Spencer Howard's Major League debut goes just as planned as he dominated the Marlins for six, was it seven innings, right? Seven innings dominated the Marlins. Ten strikeouts, only a hit, only a walk. 
I mean, it's a great command for a young starting pitcher right there. Not much else you can honestly ask for from Spencer. I mean, take one last look at his stats. You know, only allowed the one hit to Gabby Guerrero, which was a bleeder up the middle. Paisley had two hits. Harper had a hit. Davis was one for one on pinch thing. And Hoskins also had a hit in four at-bats. I mean, this Phillies team poised to make a run this year. I think they finally have all the pitching they can possibly hope for. And the offense, too. But... I'm text on YouTube. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't heard about, check out our movie show 20 giveaway. Text on YouTube. Stay super classy, I guess. I don't know.